it's Sonya Lene and welcome back to my channel. Today, guys, it's Married Life Monday. And I'm so excited. Y'all, yeah, I had a long weekend. <clears throat> I'm doing all this hollering. But mama is hoarse as I all get up, okay? Anyways, but y'all know I get excited about Merry Life Monday, okay? So, you know, for some reason, Merry Life Monday give me that second win. But anyway, we got one today, y'all. Who is always something, okay? But the good thing is you guys are here to help me solve this issue. And y'all gonna drop down in the comments and give your opinion see because what i'm giving here is just my opinion i am not a marriage counselor licensed professional none of that okay i'm just here to share my heart with you guys and you guys share your heart back with me in the comments okay so we got an email of course all right so i'm just gonna get into it <clears throat> y'all excuse me because my voice is in and out okay say a good prayer Okay, anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and get into this email, and then we're going to talk, 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 y'all. All right, here we go. Hey, Sonia. I've been with my fiancé for four and a half years. We have been through so much, and I love this man with all my heart. His mama raised him right. He is the perfect gentleman, and he makes me very happy. I really want to spend the rest of my life with him. There is only one problem. Back in 2017, I met this girl that works at Starbucks. She asked if I was in a relationship and I told her yes. She then asked if I was happy and again I said yes. Mm, I really don't know what happened to me in that moment but I became obsessed with seeing this girl. I went to Starbucks every day just to see if she was working and we just locked in on each other's eyes. I never say a word to her, but being in her presence makes me tingle inside. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, I love my fiance, but I have a strange feeling for this woman. I don't know how to describe what it is I feel, but whatever it is, it draws me to Starbucks every day. For two years, I've been waking up every day excited to see her when I go get my coffee. We've never exchanged numbers, spoke on the phone or text. I've never had any physical contact, but I feel like I've been cheating on my fiance for the past two years. I wanna talk to him about it, but I'm afraid of losing him. We are getting married in a month. By the way, I've never been in a relationship with a woman and I am not gay. Are you sure? Because, I mean, I don't know what gay people realize about themselves that, you know, makes them say, okay, I'm gay. But every day you go to Starbucks for two years just to look at a girl? Mama? Don't take this the wrong way. <laughs> but you just might be a lesbian, okay? Um, This is a lot for me, okay? Let me tell you why it's a lot for me. And I'm going to get into it. I'm going to give you my opinion. I promise. I hope I help in some kind of way, okay? But I do want to say I don't know anybody who have been in this situation before. Okay, it would have made this situation a whole lot easier for me to talk about. And I know this going to sound bad. Had you slept with the woman, okay, that would have helped me, you know, just kind of get all this together. But I really don't know what it is. I mean, you say you love this man. You want to spend the rest of your life with him. You don't want to lose him. But you thinking about this girl every day enough excuse me enough to go to her job just to do what look at her just to see her just to be in her presence and you said just being in her presence make you tingle inside so my question for you is 
when you intimate with your fiance, which I know y'all intimate, you thinking about her? I don't know what to say about this situation. So let me just go one part at a time, okay? So let me, let me get back to it. Okay, I've been with my fiance for four and a half years. So that means y'all was together two and a half years before you had this encounter with this woman, which she ain't done nothing to you. She just asked you a couple of questions. I don't know what it was about her voice. She must got some beautiful eyes. <laughs> I mean, I just don't know. Okay, so I don't know what it was about her that made you so head over heels. And I don't know if, you feel, if you've been distant. See, you haven't given me enough information. Have you been distant from him? Have, you know, has any, any of your behavior changed other than you going to get coffee every day? Because, I mean, a person going to get coffee every day, that's not, you know, an abnormal thing. That's not a thing that would, you know, set off an alarm. Um... Other than you going to get coffee every day, has your behavior changed? Has anything changed towards him? How is your sex life? You know, are you guys regular or, you know, is it some pushback? Because you know that you feel some kind of way about this girl. Because most of the time when people feel guilty about something, they get distant. So you just really haven't given me enough information to, you know say okay well you really need to go this route or that route but what can what I, what I can tell you is that you need to have a conversation because if you're getting married in a month um he needs to be able to make a decision on whether he want to be with with you or not then you need to kind of do some soul searching and figure out what your sexual preference really is okay because I mean, I've liked a boy before. Um, I've even, like, thought of, you know, in, when, in, in high school. I'm not as a grown woman, okay? In high school or, or middle school, I woke up in the morning thinking about what I'm going to wear and how I'm going to, you know, fix my hair and all of this stuff because I want this boy to notice me because I really like him, okay? Um... As an adult, I don't have those type of feelings uh, for a diff for another person that I can't speak to, okay? You literally made it your business for two years to go to a coffee shop and look at a person whom you have sexual desires for. Four, don't tell me you don't have any sexual desires for this person because you said her very presence makes you tingle inside, okay? I know what that mean. Y'all know what that mean. I know y'all do, okay? So I'm just giving you what I got according to what you gave me in this email, okay? All right, so let me see if I can just kind of get something else out of this, okay? You went to Starbucks every day. Did you met her back in 2017? You didn't really meet her, though, did you? I don't know. Maybe y'all introduced yourselves, but hopefully you introduced yourselves if she asking you personal questions that way, okay? Okay, and then you says here, I don't know what happened to me in that moment. But I became obsessed with seeing this girl, okay? So like I said, the way she asked the question, I wasn't there. How she looks, I wasn't there. She must have some very, very beautiful eyes, a very sweet-sounding voice. I'm just thinking maybe, excuse me, I'm just thinking maybe um, this woman is, drop dead gorgeous like she's gotta be because you about to lose somebody who you said you want to spend the rest of your life with but then again okay son you you thinking now talk to him because he might be into that kind of thing you know what i'm saying some men 
Now, I'm just going to keep it 100, honey. This is a transparent type of channel. If you can't handle this kind of conversation, you probably need to click off. All right? I'm not going to be mad because I'm still going to say what I need to say. Now, he might be into that kind of thing. All right? Some men do not have a problem with a little girl-on-girl -girl action. But here's the thing. <sighs> Ugh, you finna marry him. Ugh. And what if the girl on girl action kind of leaves him out because you don't really want to hook up with him no more because, you know, hooked up with the girl. It's so much that can go into this, y'all. I'm so, all, I know I'm all over the place because I didn't get enough information in this email to just kind of assess the situation. So I'm just thinking off the top of the zone, off the top of the zone. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Okay, drop down in the comments and help a sister out, okay? This girl is about to get married in a month, okay? She's going to marry this man in a month. Now, she needs to say something to him now because it's already too late, okay? This is the last minute. The clock is ticking. You about to get married or not, okay? So, you need to go ahead and let him know how you feel. Please do not go into your marriage living a lie, okay? A lot of times, it'll come out better than what you think. Like I said, he might be into that kind of thing. Then again, he might be the type of person that want to help you, you know, make them steps towards um, being who you are. Uh, make them steps towards figuring out, you know, who you are and what your preference is and what your desires are. Forget about everybody else. Okay, that, this is what I can say. Okay, because situations like this can become very overwhelming and embarrassing when your family and friends find out, especially when you're supposed to marry somebody. So you feel like you want to keep it to yourself because you don't want all of this stuff to unfold in front of all of these people. You can get that out your mind because it's going to happen. Okay, so one, prepare yourself. Pre prepare yourself because some people are going to talk real bad about you, okay? Some people going to talk real bad about you. Some people going to understand where you're coming from. Some people just ain't going to get it at all and they don't matter, okay? The one person that matters because sometimes we can get consumed with everything that's going on outside of what's important. The one person that matters is your fiance, okay? He matters, his thoughts matter. His opinions matter. His feelings about the situation matter. Why? You've been in a relationship with this man for four and a half years. And for two years, you've been feeling some kind of way and you haven't said anything. So you owe him to, you owe him an explanation and you owe him the answers to all his questions. So what you need to do is sit down with this man. Have a conversation with him. Let him know. That he is free to ask you anything, okay? He want to ask questions, you let him ask him, ask them, and you answer them, okay? Honestly, because that might save your relationship. Now, that's all I got, because I don't even know what else to say. You didn't give me enough information, but let me tell you this, Sherry. Ooh. Was I supposed to say her name? She didn't tell me I couldn't use her name, but she didn't tell me that I could. But y'all don't know who Sherry is, so guess what? I'm going to tell you this right here, girlfriend. Uh, make up your mind, okay? Sit down. Think real hard, okay? Make your mind up that you are going to be okay with how this plays out. Don't stress yourself cuz I know people who will get in a in a situation and it's overwhelming because everybody know their business and they get depressed and stressed and have suicidal thoughts and all that. So here is my part in this, okay? I might not have been able to give you the best advice but I'm going to say this, what I can give you is um, some advice to find your peace in this, okay? 
Find your peace in whatever happens. You got to have some peace down on the inside of you so that you can walk through this, so that you can deal with this, so that you can continue to love yourself even if this thing goes left. Because this is a this is a situation, okay? And if this man really loves you, he may not be able to handle this. He may not be able to stay with you knowing that you have certain desires, okay? And here's the thing. Just because you haven't slept with her, just because you haven't had any physical contact with her or exchange numbers with her, don't mean you won't. You have made it your business to go see this woman every day for two years. All she got to do is ask you for your number. All she got to do is ask you to meet her at a hotel. Because you're that obsessed with her. You want her. You want to know her. You want to, you, you, you want to. Come on now. Let's be honest and let's be real. All right, y'all, that's all I got. Listen, y'all drop down in the comments and try to help your girl because this one was a lot for me. I don't know what I was thinking not having a drink because I need one. I'm about to go have one. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll know every time I upload a video and share this video, share it with everybody. Thank y'all for hanging out with me today. And until next time, guys, bye.